if you're dealing with a field with sclerotinia stem rot or white mold, there's a few things you'll want to consider when it comes to management. Now the first thing is that because of the way this fungus, as far as a disease, develops, we're going to see it starting anytime we have cool conditions at flowering. So when we look at management actions, really after that, you're looking at limiting spread of that disease. And so your best management is going to be to try to control it early on, so when that crop is flowering. So that may be difficult to schedule. Now, the other things that are more important that you can look at, though, is variety selection. Because we know that there's differences in genetics and tolerance to sclerotinia stem rot among soybean varieties. Uh, just in the field that we see here, you can see the different varieties across the field, and there's completely different levels of sclerotinia stem rot among these varieties. So in addition to genetic resistance or tolerance to the disease, some other things can also influence disease development. Another one that's really important is row spacing, and a lot of research has been done to show that narrower rows will favor sclerotinia stem rot. Now in the field we're looking at today, we have 20 inch rows. So that's definitely gonna be more conducive than 30 inch rows, and in particular, Research has shown that when you go down to a seven and a half inch or drill type scenario, that's where it's really conducive for sclerotinia stem rot. The other thing that can affect the disease is plant population. So fields with higher plant populations, you're gonna see more of that plant to plant spread. And so when we look at management possibly with a fungicide, the thing that I look at is how widespread it is in the field. If you just have a couple pockets or a few plants, that's not a big deal. You don't need to worry about managing it because it's not gonna sporulate and spread you know, across the field like we would see with rust or, or some of our other diseases that are foliar diseases that we see in soybean or in corn. But again, your best action when we look at chemical treatment is going to be looking at some sort of a treatment trying to eliminate that infection early on. So in general, just to review, when we're looking at sclerotinia stem rot or white mold management, we look at variety selection as our number one criteria as far as the option for management. Then we go into looking at our cultural practices of what we can control, specifically row spacing. Okay. And then the, the next thing we look at is are we going to use a chemical to try to manage this? And that's where we'd look at the use of fungicides. So by having a better understanding hopefully now of how the disease spreads and moves and using these techniques to manage the disease, you can really better protect your soybean crop and increase your yields in your operation.